Hi YouTube, this is gonna be a video demonstrating how I've been using my phone to sync with my car with as much automation as possible basically using it as a media player and a navigation device so first I'm gonna show uh, this app that I've been using to basically automate a lot of my tasks uh, my profile actually so uh, I've been using something called Tasker. Now let's see. So you can see here that I have multiple profiles uh, set up with this app. So there's something set up when I'm at home. So if it detects a Wi-Fi connect, I turn off the Bluetooth. And if I'm if I leave my house, so if my Wi-Fi is connected, then it's going to turn on the Bluetooth and turn off Wi-Fi. And then there's going to be something for my car and when I go to work. So let's see what happens when I enter my car and when it connects to Bluetooth. Okay, so now I'm in my car here. Uh, all I've done is walked in and put this, put my phone on the car mount, put in the, uh, I plugged in the plug, and now I'm just going to insert my key and just turn on the power, but not the engine. Okay, as you can see, my phone turned on. I'm just gonna unlock it. And let's see what happens. Oh, it says Bluetooth connected. As it say here, sync line in. And it opened my, the Vlingo in-car app. This is uh, Vlingo, but the customized for for uh, for car car navigation, well, car com voice command in in the car. Sync okay. has connected to your phone okay. and is reminding you that nine one one assist is set to off. Okay, so I'm gonna press back and went back to this screen, which is called uh, Car Home. Pro, I think, Car Home Pro probably, and the screen is basically a ta dashboard. This app is basically a dashboard, and you can customize it with as shortcuts that you want, right? And so, what's good about uh, using Bluetooth to connect to the car um, is that I can select the source. Here, let me zoom up, and can select the source of the sound to be Bluetooth audio. Okay. Okay, so it started automatically started playing the music. Uh, I used my steering wheel to turn down the volume. And I don't even see it. I don't even see the music playing. I don't even see what's playing. It just started playing in the background so I can just click on this. Up here, and Bon Jovi's playing. So, I hope you can see the controls here. I'm gonna turn on the light a little bit. <clears throat> what I can do is I can go to the next track, next track, previous track, and I can just press OK to just stop it. All right. So if I press back on my phone again, I go back to the screen and I can still control the music. <clears throat> so that's media. <clears throat> so what happens if I want navigation? So let me turn on the music again. It's playing. I'm gonna I'm gonna press co-pilot. Okay. So now <clears throat> I'm in this on the startup screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press new destination, uh, my places, and let's just go to work. And I'm going to press go. Okay, so there's no GPS here, but let me get a, a simulation up. 
Okay, so I remember now how to do a demo uh, of the route. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is from the press menu, uh, main menu, my places, go to work. Okay, but notice the music is still playing. And press go. Okay, so it's trying to plot a route, but there's no GPS signal, so nothing's gonna happen. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys what happens if it tries to say a direction. A route demo. Now, turn left on Carling Avenue West. 500 meters ahead, turn left on Maitland Avenue. Did you catch that? So the music kind of faded a little bit, and then it, fit, and then it came back after the direction was done. Let's just see what happens again when I come across the turn. Now, turn left on Maitland Avenue. That's very neat, eh? Okay. So let's stop this. How do I stop it? Back. Okay. And you exit. Okay. Okay, so now I'm at back at the home screen. I'm gonna let the music to play. Keep playing. Okay, so I am gonna press v Vlingo in car to do voice commands. Okay, so now I'm at the screen, and this is v v Vlingo's in car dashboard. What would you like to do? Cancel. Okay, cancel. So. This app is always listening. So whenever I say, Hey Vlingo. What would you like to do? Text Charles Chu. I'm going to be five minutes late. Which Charles would you like to text? Send text message to Charles Y.H. Chu. I'm going to be five minutes late. Say send, cancel, or speak your message again. Send. So I'm just trying to demonstrate what happens uh, when you try to carry a conversation on text message. So I'm going to send a message to myself. I'm going to receive it. And what's going to happen? New message from Charles Chu. Message, I'm going to be five minutes late. Hey, Vlingo. Speak your reply. Please come as fast as possible. Thank you. Send text message to Charles Chu. Please come as fast as possible, thank you. Say send, cancel, or speak your message again. Send. Sending message. Message sent. New message from Charles Chu. Message, please come as fast as possible, thank you. Hey, Vlingo. Speak your reply. I will. Keep your pants on. Send text message to Charles Chu. I will keep your pants oh. on. Say send. Cancel. That's a bit misleading. Speak your message so again. I'm going to cancel. Message I'm going to cancel. Say send, oh, well. cancel, or speak your message. Send. And that's basically how you carry send a conversation message. on text message without using your hands. Message well, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, troublesome to get it started. New message from Charles. Chu. But uh, but that's message. only because I have two numbers under the same name. If it was gonna, if it's just normally a, a single contact with one number, it'll be pretty easy. Watch. Hey, Vlingo. You like to do. Text Olivia Lee. Send text message to Olivia I Lee. I always forget I have to say the say message send, with the command. Cancel or speak your message again. Poke. Message poke. Say send, cancel, or speak your message. Send. 
sending message. And that's message basically sent. it. So after you're done, you can carry on. You can continue listening to music just by clicking on the OK button. So there it is. So if, we want, if I want to go back to the dashboard, that's back. And that's the dashboard. Um, so you don't have to listen to music that's exclusive on your phone. What you can do is you can also have other shortcuts. You can have TuneIn Radio or Slacker Radio. I'm going to press Slacker Radio. Uh, music's already selected. I'm going to press Play. So this will be great. You know, if you, you don't have the music you have, uh, you want exactly on your phone, so you select the radio and it'll choose for you, right? And the controls work the same way. Press OK, it will stop, and again to again to continue. Press back. And I'm back here. So it can be basically anything. Okay, and so this is a demonstration of how I've set up my phone and my car to handle navigation and media autonomously, I suppose. As you can see, all I did was I put, I came in the car, I put the phone up, uh, on the car mount. When I started the car, uh, the dash, dashboard app started automatically, and then I go from there. If I want to text someone, I'll press, I'll press the v Lingo in-car app. Or oh, if you want to navigate, I press Copilot, and you know I mean there's still some manual controls involved, but you know it's there. There is a lot of a lot of uh, operation where you don't have to, you don't have to use your hands, right? Okay, that's it. Signing off. Thank you.